everyone. Morning. Welcome to our final full day in Singapore on oh, this travel series, which is really it. sad to say. Um, so yeah, so that's that's oh that's deflated us a bit. Um, so today we've got a couple of plans. We're going to uh, River Wonder at Singapore Zoo, so that you can see the giant pandas. Better be um, out. Yeah, they will. They will be out. Um, we're going to be doing the Singapore Flyer. Um, which is like the London Eye for those of you from the UK. Yeah. Um, Planning on doing that more afternoon, evening time, aren't Yeah, yes, yeah, so that we can get a good good view. Um, and, and they're the only actual booked plans today. We were looking at doing the Tiger uh, Beer Brewery Tour, but that's really far out. It's literally, like you said, on the border with Malaysia, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, nearly. Um, so I think because... And then, and then River Wonders is really far from here as well. That's like a good... It's half an hour taxi, or it's going to take us probably an hour on on the metro. Yeah, it's quite um, far. So everything seems to be quite spread out today. So we've decided not to do the Tiger Beer Brewery tour, which is disappointing. But I think we would have just been rushing around too much on our last day, and we need to also yeah. come back and pack. Um, we want to come back for the cocktail hour in the executive lounge one last time, and we want to not be going non-stop before we go back to Hong Kong to fly home. Yeah, so tomorrow we're flying back to Hong Kong. Mm-hmm. Um, but final day in Singapore, it's going to be really fun, and we'll be doing some nice things this afternoon, so we'll take definitely follow us. along. Yeah. We decided to actually just get a taxi to the um, zoo, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, the price has come right down to so only 19 Singapore dollars, so it's like not even it's like 12 quid and it takes half the time real realistically to get there so yeah, we just thought so nice, we're not going to this um brewery so let's just get a taxi there and then we'll hopefully just get a taxi back as well hopefully so yeah we will um let you know when the taxi comes we used the grab app actually didn't we That's what yeah doing. grab uh, yeah. grab always seems to be one or two dollars cheaper than zig but obviously i think zig is more common yeah so um, oh here he is oh is this him that's old Joe. Oh, yeah. he's here. Here's the driver. Oh, and we've got the guy to open the door for us, which is nice. Thank you. So we'll catch up with you shortly. We are now at the taxi drop-off for the Singapore Zoo, uh, River Wonder and Night Safari. And there is a robot, a parking enforcement robot. Yeah very different from our ticket people yeah. um, in the UK <laughs> and amazing news I found Fanta Orange I've been really surprised but they just don't sell Fanta Orange no we, we've not really seen it anywhere have we no um, so yeah three dollars for Fanta Orange worth it so we're now um, gonna head into the River Wonders and hopefully see some really nice animals Just heading in now, we've got the tickets. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Ooh, we're off. Oh, here's a map. So, we've got the pandas. Oh, they've got red pandas here. So Lots we of different are animals. Here. And we're about to go Oh look, it's like a proper track and everything. Oh, that's so. good. We'll just walk around then. That's nice. Ooh. Let's go. So we just come into the first area. It's nice and air conned. Yeah, I'm happy to stay here. <laughs> Some lots of little facts on the screens. Your river journey starts here. Some Big fishies. Eyes, really. Oh my gosh, that is such a weird one. Boy, like you. No, I think he just wants to leave. Well, it's big ones over here. That's a big one. That one Giant fish. <laughs> what we've been waiting for, the panda forest. There's lots of fish so far, isn't it? Oh my gosh, what on earth is that thing? <laughs> Oh. Baby pandas. Lily, the first giant panda cub born in Singapore celebrated his first birthday. 
Lily's nearly two. It's a bad panda. Just chilling. Panda. It's right there. Just chilling. That's quite a big one. <laughs> they're so lazy. Oh, the food is there. I love how it's just laid there. It's, they're so lazy. Panda bear. That's why I like it. You like it because it's lazy? Yeah. And they're silly, aren't they? They just goof around. The panda's having an itch. The panda is having an itch. Look at that. You've got the baby panda. The baby panda's a little bit more active. If it fell over, I would die. I don't know if you can quite see her, she's just there. So we've seen the pandas, so cute. And we've just bought a little panda bun. Panda bun is like a chocolate flavoured filling apparently, so we'll try it. Should we try it now? Do you want to try the first bit? No, you try the first bite. Here you go. Your panda bun. Oh. No filling. Not yet, anyway. It's there, I can see the filling. It's not custard, it's like Nutella. Ooh. <laughs> Kieran likes it. Mm. That's very nice. You've got chocolate all over your teeth. I'm gonna eat this bun. See you in a minute. On a nice little bridge over to the other side. Yep. So now we've done the pandas, the red pandas, all the fishies, and over here you've got more animals, I think. So yeah. there's definitely capybaras. Apparently so. So that's exciting. Love a capybara. So yeah, it's um, it's nice. It's not too busy actually, is it? No, there's there a is couple a... of school trips, but yeah. it's fine. Then I think they're all just like starting to have their lunch, so we yeah. can obviously walk around whilst it's quiet. There was a big tour as well, but it seems overall pretty quiet, which is really nice. Um, but enjoying the River Wonders so far. And obviously the pandas are amazing, so I might go back around and see them again if we have time. Yeah, well there's an exit there. So oh. you can just do half of it. Oh. So we can always go back around and see the pandas for Kieran again, because yeah. they're his favourite. We will see, see how we do for time, but love the pandas. We're in a walk through enclosure. What is it? Is it a monkey? No, it's not a monkey. What is it? It's a bird thing. There's another one over here. Hello. There's monkeys in here as well, I think. Yeah, oh, it says there's some here. What was this? Some of the animals you can see. Where's the monkeys at? There. I wonder if that's that thing that was on the board. I don't know what it was called now. Oh look, is that a cabin bar? No. <laughs> can you see? He's just chilling. Just chilling down there. Some birds.
So we've done one loop round River Wonder so far, um, and we are going round again, not to the full loop, but because the boat tour, the guy didn't say when we were down there, did he, that we could buy the ticket, which was a bit annoying. Yeah, um, so there's a little boat tour where you can see the capybaras and things. Yeah. Um, but they charge you, which we didn't know about. No, um, it's five Singapore dollars per person, so it's not loads of money, but it is, it's a bit annoying because it's already quite expensive to come here, um, especially because of how far out it is as well. Um, but what, we're going to go and do it because obviously it's the last thing to do and because we get to walk around again, Kieran gets to see the pandas again. Yay, pandas. So there's also a little live animal show as well that's got yeah. a few showings throughout the day. Yeah, half 11, half two and half four, I think it was. Something like that, yeah. Um, we missed, we weren't there in time, but we, you could sort of see it from the outside a yeah. little bit. So that was, um, that's good if you've got kids in this. Yeah. Uh, one of the school trips was there, wasn't they? And stuff, so yeah, it looks really good, but it's, it's really enjoyable. It's really hot. The good thing about this one is it's all, a lot of it's outside, but it's all shaded covers. Yeah. And you do have a couple of air-conditioned places that you go in. That's the pandas have got air conditioning. Yeah, um, it's really good. We were saying that it's a really nice um, park. There's a lot of like fish animals here. Obviously, River Wonder. You, I mean, you'd expect a lot of like yeah. fish. Well, you get to see the animals on the boat tour. That's yeah. the point. Um, so yeah. So we'll show you the uh, boat tour when we get back round, and maybe the pandas again. We'll see if they're doing anything. <laughs> Very lazy. movement. Oh, always oh, having a little rub. Playing. We're going for some more snacks. We have paid for the tickets. I think it's like a ride. So hopefully we will see some good animals. Yeah, just to let you know, there is a height restriction. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh. So, because um, that's what they did before with the group before us. They were um, checking the height of the children. So I think it's a bit of a ride. Obviously, it's just a little boat ride. I don't think it's going to be a triple loop roller coaster. Log flume. <laughs> it might be a little log flume, to be fair. But I doubt it. No, it'll just be a small ride, but we'll film what we can anyway. Hopefully we can film on it. So you were in the boat and then the boat goes up a lift. Yeah, we'll show you it. We'll show you this one. And we have our own boat to ourselves. I think it is, Funny, we're on our own boat. Giant 
giant anteaters. With its distinct narrow head, bushy tail, and long snout, it is almost impossible to miss the giant Oh, the spider monkeys, where are they? Going up to 300 kilograms. Well, there they are. When pursued by predators, they plunge into the river. The mountain purpose snout doubles up and snuffles. Oh, there's some monkeys, look, black howler monkeys. Oh, there's a capybara. Where's the capybara? Oh, there, is that one? That gives the flamingos its red plumage. Turn to your right. These are our capybaras. Oh, there's one These there. giant cousins of the rats and hamsters can weigh between 35 and 66 kilograms and are the world's largest rodents. The capybaras partially wet. They're just and chilling over here. Allow them to walk and paddle along the water. Straight. Oh, oh. Oh, hello. We're back from the River Wonder at Singapore Zoo, um, yeah. which was really good, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, we, we were there for a good two hours. Um, yeah. We did it twice, basically, didn't we? Yeah, First we time saw we the pandas twice. Properly, and then we second time we sort of scooted around and saw yeah. the pandas again. And we did the little ride that was there that you have to pay five Singapore dollars per person, which is a little yeah. bit not great, in my opinion. I think it should have been free, really. Yeah, because it... we didn't really see much. No, and they were all... I mean, and that's not the, the zoo's fault, obviously, that they were all asleep. It's, just, it's blooming hot. Yeah. Um, so we came back to the room just because uh, online check-in opened for our flight. So we're all checked in now for our flight for Singapore to Hong Kong tomorrow and also for Hong Kong to Heathrow on Saturday as well. So we're all checked in for all of them, which is really good. Yeah, we need to um, sort of... Sort it out yeah, because the, the app for Cathay Pacific was playing up a little bit, so we just thought, well, we've got the laptop, let's just quickly run upstairs and do that. So right now we're going to head out, uh, grab a little snack, um, which is near Maxwell Hawker Centre. It's at a little vegetarian deli place called Love Handle. So we're going to yeah. try that out and just have a look at what that is. Probably just share something because we're not mega hungry. Um, and also we want to come back to the executive lounge to just have a final couple of drinks and a little bit of a snack uh, before we go out later tonight and do the Singapore Flyer. And the um, other hawker centre that we're planning yeah, on Yeah, a Moy street food centre is where yeah. we're going. So we'll take you with us and hopefully the food at Love Handle will be nice. We're just going to go to the um, food place now, Love Handle. So we're going to go from the promenade station to um, Marina Bay and then you swap at Marina Bay and then go to uh, Maxwell Station on another line. Oh. The McLaren's just started up. It's very fancy. I'll just move around the corner. Um, the McLaren's ruining the video. So it was quite funny because when we came back from the River Wonders place in the taxi, um, you can tell we're in quite a posh area because there was two Lamborghinis, three Ferraris parked up and a Rolls Royce. <laughs> Um, and there always seems to be at least a few really really nice cars around here but I guess obviously that's what you get when you stay at the Conrad you get all the fancy cars which we can't afford <laughs> one day we've just gotten off at the Maxwell station took exit 2 and Love Handle is literally a, a few minutes walk around the corner so I'll flip the camera so you can see it so it's this one over here with the brown um, symbol it's number 8 on this street so we will show you what it's like inside in a second so we're in the shop now in um, the deli so they've got quite a few things here they've got a wellington and um, mince things sausage what else have they got they've got like pastes and things we're inside now so if you scan this menu if you want to see you'll get um, it come up on your phone so there's lots of different things we've ordered a chicken and rice with some uh, nuggets. It's not, it's not chicken and rice, just chicken rice. Chicken rice, some nuggets, and then some ice lemon tea just to share because we're going to go out for tea later as well, and it is already like three. Yeah. So, yeah, scan this if you want to check out the menu, but it's really fu cool and funky in here, isn't it? Food's come, so this is our nuggets, and then the 
chicken and rice. Well, obviously it's not real chicken, it's all vegan. It just looks really good and you get a dip. And then we've got our iced lemon teas. So yeah, it looks really yummy. So we're gonna tuck into this and we'll let you know what it's like when we leave. It's all finished at um, Love Handle. Really, really nice that was. Yeah, really tasty, wasn't it? Yeah, um, really good vegan and plant-based um, place. So yeah. if you're in Singapore and you are well, either veggie or vegan or yeah, I definitely recommend not even it. and you want to try it out, it's really, really good. Um, yeah. The chicken rice was delicious and the nuggies were super nice as well. Yep. Um, the, somebody had a burger as well near us and that looked really good. Um, yeah. And they also did like a Wellington. Yep. And they do beers and cocktails and stuff as well. So I think yeah. you can go there for dinner. On, they do a happy hour as well, but we just um, aren't there in time because it's um, we're a bit too early. So what we're going to do is um, check out the Amoy Street Food Hawker place now and then we might have something to eat now or we might come back in a little bit, we've yeah. not decided yet. We're just going to do a little recce aren't we? We've just been having a little look around, we've seen two vegetarian ones already. Um, yeah. So on the lower floor there's about five rows would you say? Yeah. Um, one of the veggie ones is not open but the other one is and it looks really nice. And then if you go up to the second floor, there's even more stalls. So it's very big and there's lots of different options. Oh my gosh, it's massive up here. So this is the upstairs. See, so you've got so much seating up here. I don't even know how many rows of these, probably about another five or six rows upstairs. Yeah, a lot of them are closed and not open at the moment. Just at the bottom floor now, it's really cool because they've got all like graffiti art on this back wall here. And then turn around, there's obviously lots of different stalls all along here and all the way to the end. And then that's one of the vegetarian ones just over there. To um, get absolutely rat arse tonight, because it's our last night. No, no, no. <laughs> If, if, if this gets kept in, I'm not getting rat arse before a flight. No. <laughs> not after last time. After Santorini, which Never no, again. many of you will not know about. So, Never again. Just story time. Okay, right, here we go. This is going to be in the vlog now. Santorini, um, our last night, we had, we'd been really good. We hadn't really drank that much the whole holiday, apart from the Euros final that England was in. And then, on the last night, we decided to get absolutely legless. Um, not, not even eat tea either. Yeah, we didn't say. have dinner. We ended up meeting this American guy who was on his own travelling. Ended up drinking with him until three o'clock in the morning and we had to be up early for a flight and Kieran was just... I was sick everywhere after like, I don't even know how many cocktails. I mean, it, and, Shots, and luckily everything. we hadn't packed the suitcases, nothing. Nothing was prepared. We literally just was at this Irish bar and then basically, yeah. yeah. So that is a little story Luckily. I was able to function barely. Barely. I thought I was going to pass out on the way to the airport. I literally have never felt so awful in my life. And it, it was, was hot. It was so hot. Yeah, it was like, I swear, the hottest day that we'd been in Santa. It probably wasn't. It just probably felt a lot hotter. Hadn't eaten anything literally since like midday. And it was just the most horrific hangover. And then I had to get on a flight home and it was oh, awful. Oh, it's so funny. So if this gets kept in, now you know why I don't drink before we go on any flights. Yeah. He'll have a drink, but that's it. I would never get drunk again before a flight. Never. Yeah. Because I just wanted to keel over on the flight home. Yep. In fact, I even said to Ollie, I'd rather just pay to stay another night and move all the flights because I couldn't yeah. deal with it. Yeah, he actually asked me if, if we could do that. So, anyway, story time. Um, we've been to the Amoy Food Street Hawk place in um, lots of stalls. I went to go to the veggie one to get some spring rolls, but she didn't the lady didn't have any. So I ordered some fried tofu instead. Um, just because I, I felt bad and I felt like I had to order something. Obviously, it's really cheap. Motorbike. And the fried tofu was just like cold fried tofu, so I didn't really like that. And then I don't really know what was going on, but I ended up ordering this other noodle dish and it was just like noodles with cabbage broth. And it, it wasn't very nice. So I had to just, it was only $4, so I had to just leave like most of it. Um, so yeah. But I'm sure there's lots of other lovely food there, however... Oh! Yeah, that wasn't um, the best experience, but that doesn't mean it's not good there. 
no. just means I ordered something really weird and then we had to leave it basically. I think because they they probably closed up for lunchtime, hadn't they? So there wasn't really anything open. Don't really know, and the lady just the store was a bit of a she didn't really understand and it was just a bit of a whole thing, so I think I just sort of pity ordered and then it was just not yeah. very nice. So. so now we're going to Lal Passat because Again. we both really like that or I really like that Hawker Centre. Um, so we're going there, yeah. have a drink, maybe have a nibble and then we're going to head to the cocktail hour at the executive lounge um, at the hotel which is the Conrad and then we're going to go on the star, the star flyer. Singapore flyer. Yeah. Singapore, you know what I'm running about. Evening everyone. Hey. So we've just come back to the hotel after being at Lao Passat. Uh, we took the blue line straight back to Promenade Station, so literally that took a few minutes. Yeah. Um, and we've just gotten a little bit dressed up for our final evening, so we're going to go for some drinks for the cocktail hour at the Executive Lounge, the cocktail hour. <laughs> Even better, it's um, free drinks. It's free drinks, isn't it? Champagne for yes. this one. Um, and then after that, we're going to go to the Singapore flyer in the evening. Yeah. Um, so when it's a bit darker. We didn't really feel much in the um, Hawk Centre. No, because we've shown you that before. Yeah. I just got a little roti and a smoothie, and you had a uh, naan uh, with some paneer curry. I think it was called you? a Kadari paneer curry. It was really nice, actually. Yeah. had a bit of a kick to it. And yeah, really nice. So let's go to the lounge and we will video Show you over what there. we get. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> So we've been in the lounge now for about two hours, haven't we? Actually, yeah, yeah, good long, good amount of time. And it's been really nice and relaxing. It's been nice to nice just nice and quiet, hasn't it? Yeah, and it's been nice for us to slow down a little bit and just chill. Um, I've had like four glasses of champagne, haven't I? Yeah, same for me for beers. You've had four beers, so all three, so even better. Yep. Um, so it's been really lovely, and yeah, we're just gonna walk over to the Singapore Flyer now because it's actually not very far from the hotel, no, which is really ideal. So we're going to walk over there and we'll catch up with you when we get to the fly and hopefully we'll be able to see some good views. And now it's dark. We're just coming up to the Singapore flyer. Literally 10 minute walk from the hotel. Yeah, roughly. Very, very quick Not to far. get here. Um, there's a little walkway that I think we need to just go over. So we're going to head up there. So we've just walked over the bridge. It says that the entrance is on level one and then I'm assuming you'll get some sort of lift or something up. So we're on level two at the moment and there is a bit of a queue at the minute. But you can see here that it's all lit up. Looks really cool. So hopefully we don't have to wait too long. We've scanned the tickets and we are going into the entrance, I guess. Oh. Start your journey. We're nearly on now. There's a little bit of a wait, but it's not too long. We're off. see the Conrad over there where we're staying with the little red light. There. Evening everyone. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> so we're back in the hotel now for the final evening. Sad times. Mm, yeah. Very sad isn't it? Very sad to be leaving this glorious, luxurious, amazing hotel. Yes it's been very nice. Um, so obviously the last time we filmed we were at the Singapore Flyer which was really nice wasn't it? Yeah. Um, fab views it was really nice to do at night time as well which I would recommend. Yeah. Um, something a bit different we've not really done any sort of like nighttime viewing platforms or no, anything so that no. was really nice. 
Um, it takes about half an hour to go around, and we have, maybe we had to wait about ten minutes to get on it. Yeah, something like it that. It was Not quite long. quiet. Yeah. Um, I can imagine that, like you said, didn't you, that you could imagine it was quite busy at about half seven when sunset was happening. So Yeah, in the day ta- peak daytime as well. I imagine you yeah. have to wait quite a while to get on. Yeah. Um, but we really enjoyed that anyway, so um, definitely something to do if you're interested in that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, very good views of Marina Bay, and you could we saw the um, light show as well, didn't we, for the Super Garden? Yeah. Which was cool. So, yeah, we've now got to That's pack. our final night, isn't it, in Singapore? Yeah, final night is over and early. So, we, like I said, we have, we've got to pack now. We're flying back to Hong Kong tomorrow. Um, so, we don't have to pack too well. We no. Can, we can sort of do no, it just tomorrow. Chuck, chuck everything in and, and, and then, we'll, then we'll be on our way. I mean, I think the, the good thing is, is that we do have that day in Hong Kong where we can, like, tidy anything up with packing that we need to. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. So we'll be having breakfast in the lounge in the morning. Um, then we'll be taking a taxi to Changi Airport, Cathay Pacific fly from Terminal 4. So we'll be going straight to Terminal 4. I think the taxi, uh, because we didn't know to book it on the app with uh, either Zig or Grab, so the taxi will be a lot cheaper than when we came, nearly half the price. Yeah. So um, really reasonably priced for that. Um, but we'll, we're gonna we'll get the taxi. That. Yeah, we're going to get the taxi at about 10 o'clock flight is at 12.55 so we've got plenty of time all checked in all sorted all ready to go and i'm yeah. sure it'll be a nice flight with cathay pacific again yeah so looking forward to going back to hong kong we're just staying at yeah. the airport so um we'll still film we'll still take you along with yeah but there won't be that everything. much to show you tomorrow will there? there'll be more another travel day room tour what we get up to but yeah i don't think we'll be getting up to that much we'll see won't we who knows but yeah, thank you so much for watching today. We hope you enjoyed following along on our final full day in Singapore. It's been an amazing trip, hasn't yeah. it, in Singapore? We've it's been amazing. It so much. And we've done so much yeah. as well. <laughs> so make sure um, you like and comment down below what you have enjoyed for this video or for other Singapore videos that, we've, that you've watched. And make sure you subscribe because there's going to be lots more videos coming as well. And we've still obviously got our travel home days as well back to the UK. So it's going to be good still gonna yeah. make the most of it aren't we yeah so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye bye, bye.